all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you i hope my voice is coming good and clear uh, today uh, the title was about uh, this uh, kid his name fifi farid whatever his name who don't dare to call me but yet he can refute me uh, so i said to myself he is so small to make it just about him uh, so today we'll talk about two things about fifi and about trump which one we start with you tell me which one which topic you want to start with uh, with Iran or with this guy who supposedly is refuting me okay let us go with Fifi this guy I know I, yesterday I saw a recommended video by YouTube and it's supposedly about a guy who left Islam in my channel and I don't know the video I mean there's thousands of videos of Muslims who left Islam as you know and this guy he is saying he is proving to the Muslims the Christian Prince is lying okay Lie number one, lie number two, lie number three, lie number four. And let us go and see the lies. Number one lie that you Muslim, you are saying to us that you Muslim, you lie about your prophet. Because you liar, you said, because this hadith is da'if, it is rejected. Well, anyone can go right now and search in YouTube. He will find this guy, his name Sheikh Hamza, and he explained to the little one like you that Da'if hadith is accepted. But there, there's, there's an attack on weak hadith in our time. We, we, a weak hadith is, is anywhere from a B minus to a D minus. All right? A Hassan hadith is, is a B to an A minus. And then a Sahih hadith, I'm just using so a language you can understand. An A minus. Uh, Fifi. He is using a language you can understand. Just remember that. Okay? So I hope you can understand this. I mean, it's not hard for you. You are smart. A language you can understand, you little one. You claim that you are a Muslim. All of you, you are a bunch of potatoes. Claim to know, but you are the last one to know. The same as Muhammad. His wife was a cheater on him, and he is the last one to know. Continue, Mr. Sheikh Hamza. This is like a, 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 a Sahih Hadith is from an A to an A+. Plus. To 100%. Mutawatir is 100%. Al Bukhari is like 98%, 99%. Muslim and Bukhari, 99%. Uh, Sahih Muslim, 97%. So the, the, uh, a weak hadith is not thrown out. <laughs> Just like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that, that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It, it didn't funk, you idiot. It didn't funk, you idiot. So why you are lying saying the Prophet did not say that? The Hadith says that the Prophet said, and you are saying the Prophet did not say that. And you are, you say that the if Hadith is rejected. Who said that? Who is the donkey? He said that to you. Oh, you Muslim have a lot of donkeys. You call them scholars. So each one, each donkey of you, he have his own school. And this guy is a Muslim Sunni like you. So look how they lie and they say anything they don't like, they call it da'if. Da'if is da'if. This is in a book, it's called Sahih. All those books we are quoting from, they are Sahih. There is six authentic writers of Hadith and this is one of them. Sunan Ibn Majah. Now he said that the Prophet did not say, read, read the Hadith with me, it says, the messenger of Allah said, okay, let us say, let us say, you are saying that this guy is lying. Why you Muslim even write in the hadith if it's a lie? If this is a lie, why it's in the book, it's called Sahih Ibn Majah. Uh, guys, the name of the book, the correct hadith, this is the title of the book, but what inside the book is lies. Now, the Muslim, they say to us, and here is very careful, this guy, he just got his prophet busted, that Islam is a preserved, Okay, as long you Muslims, you have to follow the orders of the Prophet. And every one of you have his own opinion about what is Sahih and what is not Sahih. So Ibn Majah say it is Sahih. Mr. Farid, who have high school, he said it's not Sahih. For sure he knew. So it's embarrassing. It's a stupid hadith. So they say it is not Sahih. Now let's just show you the hypocrisy. If we show this Abdul a hadith which is Sahih, is he going to accept it as an example? He made a video and uh, Mimi Hijab, he posted, it's called Annihilation Refutation of a, a Apostate Prophet. 
and he was talking about refuting him about the sunset in murky water. Mr. Fifi, as long you accept Sahih Hadith, why you did not mention to uh, <clears throat> to apostate prophet that your prophet he said that the sun set in murky water, and it is Sahih. Not only Sahih, it's Sahih chain, which means both. Hmm. Why you did not quote that for him, you liar, coward? As long you refuse only the if. Why you don't accept this one? Hmm? Is this one the if? Is it the if? Is it the if? It is not. <laughs> what the prophet said? The sun set in a muddy spring of water. So, if you are a person of honor and you say I don't accept it because it's obviously the Eve, then why you don't accept this one? I will tell you why. Because that will make Islam look the Eve and look like Muhammad is. A, in, uh, by the way, do you see the word donkey here? Do you see it? Hmm. Now I assure you that a donkey will not even believe that the sun set in the murky water, but your prophet he did. Now don't tell me this is the Eve. People will laugh at you. Or what about this one? Is this one the Eve? Or this one is strong? Do you accept it? Hmm? Let us see what, what they accept, what they don't accept. Here we go. As long as you go by the Eve and Sahih. Do you accept this hadith? Is it the Eve? No, it is Sahih. What the Prophet said, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy and will look like the parents. <laughs> and if the women have orgasm first, <laughs> do you accept this hadith? No, brother, I don't accept it. It's embarrassing. <laughs> so what do you Muslims accept? Moody nation. Or what about this one? The prophet and a man kissing each other down their belly. Is this hadith sahih? Yes, brother, it is Sahih. A guy and the Prophet, the Prophet go inside the t-shirt of, of somebody from his behind. And he hold him and he hug him. And the guy, he said, the Prophet, Prophet, <laughs> I have no shirt, you don't have a shirt. So the guy, Muhammad, he left his shirt up. And the guy, he get inside his shirt. Now we have two lovers inside the shirt of a man and what what they start doing read carefully me and the man embraced him and began to kiss his side kiss the side of what kashahu do you see kashahu you speak arabic kashahu is down his belly the side of down the belly have you ever heard of a man he kiss a man down his belly do you accept this hadith you will say no i don't accept why you don't accept it it is sahih <laughs> you know what Farid I think when somebody mentioned my name this is what you do let me show you what you do this is why you don't dare to call me you and Mimi and those kids this is exactly what you do don't tell me now don't accept this hadith it's embarrassing huh? that when you hear the name of Christian Prince you kick the ground and you start farting do you accept this hadith? Because this hadith shown us the intelligence of your prophet and the follower of this religion. The prophet, Dr. Muhammad, the professor from NASA, he knew where the global warming is coming. When Satan hears the call of the prayer, he turned back and break wind. This is sahih. Do you accept this hadith, brother? It's embarrassing. So how we can speak to Muslim? What is for you is accepted? Anything is embarrassing, they refuse it. Anything. Hmm? Or what about this hadith? Do you Muslim practice muta after the Prophet? Or you did not practice muta? Yes, you did. So this is Sahih Muslim. Which means Farid, if you have a do I'm not insulting him by the way, but if he is a true Muslim, he should follow the hadith. This is Sahih. What the Sahih says that we practice muta. Hmm? We practice muta, and then my brother, you practice it in the time of the Prophet, and you practice it after the Prophet, in the time of Umar and Abu Bakr. Do you see it, brother? 
Now, do you accept this hadith? You will say, no, I don't accept it because muta is forbidden, brother, because it's a shame. What kind of a prophet he allow and then forbid? Why he was wrong? The one who was spamming, I blocked him, whatever he is saying. I wasn't, I wasn't even looking. Don't spam the text. People are not blind. So, to make it simple, those people, anything is embarrassing, will make their prophet look like a donkey. They say it's Dave. And now we go to the hadith. Hold on, we are not done. Are we done? We are not done. Look what your prophet, he said, that Christian prince, he said, that those women who Allah will send them from heaven, they are hookers. It doesn't say that. No, it says that, you idiot. Let me show you why. You said that in the hadith it says that this is the same as the wife of the Pharaoh. Let me ask you why the wife of the Pharaoh will be in the heaven having sex with Muhammad. Let's read the hadith correctly. First, this is not part of the hadith here about Pharaoh. This is the person who reported the adding that. Now, let us go what your prophet said. He said that you will inherit from the people of the hellfire women. Okay, what is special about those women? Hmm, maybe education. No. Maybe they speak languages. No. Maybe they are good in computers. No. Your prophet said that they have nice vagina and they have nice boobs. So, if those are not hookers, what they will be then? You see, when you say to me, I'm going to give you women, they have nice boobs and nice vagina. Isn't it this is about hookers? Because now their job, we know what exactly what they will do. So, you liar, you say, it doesn't say that. But anyone, even he's blind, he can see that because your prophet described what kind of women they are. He did not say they are good women who have good honor. No. He did not say they are good ethic people. No. He did not. They are, they are already in hellfire, you idiot. And what is good about them? Two things only. Only two things. Do you see it? The front. Is something you desire their boobs the vagina and by the way uh, what about the Quran are you saying to are you going to say the Quran is weak too if we go in the Quran we will find this brother later we need to change the title now you guys I was going to change the topic but uh, because it's not worth it he's just a kid you know uh, <clears throat> let us see What a hilarious religion. This is all is Islamic translation as you see. All of it is Islamic translation. Let us see how your God not only described the boobs of the women in heaven, he described their vagina. Wherein both will be those medians restraining their gallants up upon their husbands. Women who am um, no man or jinn yat mutahun. Okay, what did Muthahunna mean between two brackets? Nobody open their skin, the skin of their private part. What kind of God he is speaking about? What is inside the vagina, not only the vagina? Or what about this uh, verse, brother? This is here, chapter 55, verse number 56. What about this? So, my friend, your heaven is heaven of hookers. And you yourself, you are a hooker. Because the man who sleep with hookers, he is a hooker too. If you don't like the translation of this, uh, you know, we can change it for you. Which translation you like? Huh? Women, they have big boobs. Boing, 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 boing. I mean, what kind of God he is seducing me to believe in him by telling me I will give you women with big boobs? When we go to the heaven, brother, we are going to have big boobs. And boobs, those are for security. As an example, let us say you are going to live in Indonesia. And then tsunami came. And you don't know how to swim. So if you have those boobs, you can hold on them and they will save you from uh, the, uh, from being drowning. This is a prophet of God. 
You little you wanna refute me. Me? You're yeah, right. If you are a man, you will dare to call me. But you don't dare. You wanna talk to the apostate prophet, so you say to him, you do not know Arabic. This is the whole point. You do not know Arabic, but you don't dare to say that to me. And you don't dare to call me. And you know what? I challenge you to give me your Skype. I will call you. And then do what Mimi Hijabi did. Play video and hang up on me and mute me, coward. Potato. Don't dare to debate me. He want to tell the Muslim he want to debate the Christian prince, but he did not let me talk. Because he's a potato. And actually he got himself busted. Now, are we done? I mean, is he really worth it? What do you think, guys? I mean, just too little. Seriously. Now, if we go here, by the way, it says here that your penis will never go flaccid. Actually, I hate to have such a thing, brother. And you are saying the prophet did not say that. So who said that? And why through centuries, this hadith is written since when? Why nobody says this is rejected, thrown in the garbage, why it's in the book? But you liar, you said that if hadith is rejected and we get you busted by a Muslim like you who said no, a weak hadith did not funk. You funk? You are a funky person. What funk me, by the way? Past. What? And so when the owner is like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that, that gets a D minus, it didn't flunk. It passed. It passed. It didn't funk, you idiot. It passed. Let me play it for you again because you are slow out just like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that that gets a d minus it didn't flunk it passed and so when the ulama say it's a weak hadith it passed it passed this is why it's called weak you donkey weak it means it have a rank this is why they call it weak you are stupid you are officially stupid Weak is a rank of the Sahih Hadith, which means, let us say, as he said, he explained to you, there's A, B, C, D, but all of them, they, they pass, which means they are true and said by the Prophet. There is no proof against that they, the Prophet say, this is why it have a rank, you donkey. And I apologize for all donkeys in the world to say the word donkey, because I should not insult donkeys. Listen carefully what he said, maybe you are slow. Muslim 97%. So, the, the, uh, a weak hadith is not thrown out. <laughs> Just like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that, that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. And so when the ulama say it's a weak hadith, it passed. In other words, it's something that cannot be proven to not have been said by the prophet. Did you hear your liar? You said I did lie and you said this is rejected. Hadith which is weak, there's no way to prove it's not being said by the prophet. This is why it's given a rank of weak, you idiot liar. So who is the liar here? I know flunk, flunk, my, my friend, my friend, but funk is better, better than flunk. So my friend, do you see how they lie? The prophet did not see that. The Christian prince, he tricked the guy. <laughs> I tricked you too. And I made you make videos about me. And the funny you, like you are so sweet and so cute. You don't dare to call me. You are very much intimidated, all of you. Mimi, Susu, Fufu, Dudu, all of you. Who dare? Nobody. A bunch of cats. You play in my back, huh? Okay, no problem. Now, I don't want to talk about this. You know, guys, I'm going to finish this uh, video and I will make a new video about President Trump, all right? So this one, we will call it as we call it before. What we call it? What was the name before? How I'm going to get the name now? Refuting Christian Prince by Farid, uh, just forget. Okay, so this video, I will not keep it for long. Download it right away as soon as it is available. It's going to maybe take 15 minutes. And I will make a video after this. Give me just 10 minutes. We will start live podcast again just to talk about what's happening with Iran and the news. All right? Download the video right away. I will not keep it. I don't keep those videos. They are not worth it, really. They are, you know, it's not an honor for me to put the kid in my channel. 
this is why I take them down 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 it flunk it pass <laughs> it pass <laughs> okay guys uh, uh, I will be back if, 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 just I, I will make actually a tea I will uh, I will create another video it's called what President Trump planning for next to Iran and this video uh, name I will change it immediately I will call it Daif Hadith it pass and Farid is lying <laughs> oh no no I will call it the confused Muslims because this is nothing but confusion if this person is being honest so why this guy is saying it pass and they say it did not pass so if this is true each one of them have his opinion this is a nation of confusion they are not sure about how to follow the prophet and how we can follow muhammad now how islam is preserved and there's tons of lies said by muhammad about muhammad which mean muhammad said but he did not say how we can follow muhammad how Islam is reserved because you see all the orders 90% of the orders for the Muslims is in the hadith and who is the one who make a hadith sahih or correct or rejected people who came thousand of years after Muhammad <laughs> like there's a guy his name is Alabani you know me myself I witness I, like I, I, I witness him he died just a few years ago this guy now is coming to correct and say sahih and weak I mean, it's a stupid, it's a stupid cult until now because they are ashamed of their prophet and what he say. So I will name this video the confused Muslim and I will change the, uh, the, uh, the thumb for the video from Trump and we will make the other one about Trump. See you guys. I will be back in a few minutes from now. The beach. Christ is Lord. Islam is false and we got them busted as always.